this video, we will insert roof into the plan. To start, click on the roof icon in the toolbar. This will open the roof catalog where you can select different roof types. For example, we'll use hipped roof. Select hip roof then select an insertion option. Let's try automatic detection. This automatically creates a roof based on the exterior wall. To insert a roof, hover mouse into an exterior wall. A roof preview will automatically appear then click on this point to set the roof. By viewing in 3D furnishing mode, you can see a default hipped roof. Now, let's try another input option. Select the second option, Rectangle Input. Insert rectangular roof by setting two points. First in one of the exterior wall corner and second to its opposite corner. Next input method is rotated rectangle. This is the same with the rectangle option but in this option you can rotate it and has three points of insertion. First, set a point, then this became the axis to rotate the roof. Right click onto the second point to set its width and another click onto the final point or setting the length. You can input numeric values of width and length and press enter. Next input method is fixed width. This only gives you the only option to set the length. Right click on a point then another click to set the roof length. Last input option is polygon. This gives you the flexibility to set the roof in any polygonal shape. Right click on a point or edge then click onto another edge and so on until you have closed a polygonal roof area. You can configure roof options through Roof Editor. Select the roof, then select Roof Editor option in the top bar. Here you can edit the values of overhang, just overwrite default overhang width. Also, you can change the roof pitch angle, roof cladding and gutter options. All input options applies to all roof types. To increase the roof pitch and height, click into the lower left illustration. Find jam wall height and change the value. Other configurable items include eaves height or support height. 